Canelo Alvarez has called Terence Crawford out, but now Terence has changed his mind and rejected the super fight. Quite a few pros had been looking forward to the fight between Crawford and Canelo, and they were split on their opinion for who would come out on top. Shakur Stevenson really thought that both fighters would be rather even when they step in the ring with each other. Shakur stated, Canelo's gonna feel his punch just as much as Bud feels Canelo's punch. Bud's strong as <laughs> Like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all this story. I said it before, but I'ma say it again. I was in the gym. I wanna say I was getting ready for Chris Diaz or something, and he was sparring like a heavyweight fighter. I'm looking, I'm nervous for him. I'm like, why is he in the ring with this big old dude? And man, I swear he caught this dude on his chin. Boom! Dude wobbling all around the ring. I'm like, what the f***? How is this dude this strong? But it's like, honestly, Bud is very strong. People don't realize how strong he is as a fighter and his punching power could carry through the weight classes. Deontay Wilder thinks that Terrence just has a little more fight in him than Canelo did. Deontay stated, I'm going with Terrence on that one. I'm just like Terrence. He's got that dog in him. He can switch both sides and he is fearless. He comes to fight and nothing else. I don't think that he's going to bow down to Canelo in no type of way. If one way doesn't work, he's going to switch the other way. He's back and forth. I just think that he would give Canelo a problem. Just like I think that David Benavidez gives Canelo problems too. Even fans believe that Terence Crawford deserved to have his fight with Canelo. Can Terence Crawford beat Canelo Alvarez? Does he have the power to hurt Canelo? Hell no. Nah. Triple G is one of the hardest punching middleweights of all time. He ain't hurt Canelo. But could Floyd hurt Canelo? No. Beat him from pillar to post. All it takes is enough power, enough speed, enough technique to make you respect him. The difference between Floyd and Terrence Crawford, though, is that Terrence Crawford, he hangs in the pocket a little bit more than Floyd, giving Canelo Alvarez an opportunity. I'm not saying I got, I got Terrence Crawford. Lord knows I'm saying I got Canelo Alvarez. But at the same time, I'm saying Terrence Crawford deserves to be in the ring with Canelo Alvarez, meaning that he has a chance. Eddie Hearn was optimistic about the fight taking place, but he favored Canelo in the possible fight. Eddie stated, I hope he beats Charlo. If you're going to ask me about the Terrence Crawford question, you're talking about two of my favorite fighters, two modern day greats. I do think Canelo Alvarez is too big for Terrence Crawford, as good as Terrence Crawford is. In my opinion, you will never see Canelo come under 168 in a fight. I don't think he wants to do that. 168 is still a little bit, not tough, but it's enough. So I don't think you see Crawford come up to 168, and I think if he does, I don't think he beats Canelo. So I'm not sure whether that fight happens, but if it does, two great fighters and I'll favor Alvarez. Abel Sanchez thought the fight was just a dumb idea though. Abel stated, Canelo's not only bigger, but a natural middleweight with lots of experience against top fighters. He's proved again and again that he can handle larger opponents, absorbing their punches and delivering punishing counters. Roy Jones Jr. thinks that Canelo is just a big puncher, and he doesn't think that Crawford should fight him yet anyways. Roy stated, I'm not sure about that because Crawford has punching power and he's sharp, but I think Canelo showed that he's pretty big. If he does well against Charlo at the weight, then let's see him move up and fight Canelo. Yes, but not now. I want to see Crawford move up the weight classes and prove he can be dominant at 154. At one point, Canelo said that a fight with Crawford was possible. You never know. You never know in boxing. Absolutely. I'll go up, up and down and fight everybody out there. So it's possible. Why not? It's possible. Paul Andrade really thought that Crawford should just leave Canelo alone. Paul stated, Crawford should stay away from Canelo. Crawford is not a big enough guy to handle Canelo. Crawford is better left at 147. He should leave Canelo alone, seriously. Antonio Tarver believed that Crawford would not only have a fighting chance against Canelo, but be a better opponent for him than Jermel Charlo was. Tarver stated, Canelo showed that anyone moving up will have a problem, and I thought early on Crawford would be the type of guy with his offensive weaponry. I'm not sure though moving up with that much weight would impact Crawford the same way as it did Charlo. 
He would be stronger, more powerful, and I think being in the ring with a guy like that will make you fight more differently. It would be a lot more heated than the Charlo fight because Terence Crawford is one of those guys who means what he says. He isn't there tapping, he's standing on everything he says, and you have to respect fighters like that. I believe he would definitely have to get used to and adjusted to the natural strength and power of Canelo and that's always the X factor, power. Tyson Fury was supportive of a possible showdown and he thought that it came down to what Crawford believed at the time. Tyson stated, he's an awesome fighter, both of them are, I think it's a good fight, if he believes in himself then go for it. Kyron Davis thought that Crawford would have to have a perfect fight in order to win against someone like Canelo. Kyron stated, I've been in the ring with Crawford too. I got Crawford ready for when he fought Sean Porter. I was with him for a few weeks. What do I think about that fight? Everybody knows Crawford has got skills, but I do think Canelo is a little big. He's a little big for Crawford and it would be a tall task for him to win. It would be a lot to get that victory based on size alone. Not that size wins fights, but you have a guy that has size and skills. It would be hard, nothing is impossible, but if I had my money on someone winning the fight, it would be Canelo Alvarez. Sean Porter really didn't think that fans were going to get to see a fight between Crawford and Canelo. But all that being said, we not getting no Canelo versus Terrence Crawford. <sighs> Here, but here's what's bad. Amazing. Here's what's bad. It's bad that Canelo versus Bud Crawford, I think, makes more money than, than Canelo no, versus Benavidez. Of Bina course. Bina. I think. Of course. Don't make sense. I think I think you're gonna have to do some some strategic promoting to get Benavidez and, and, and Canelo to make, you know, the kind of money I think it instantly makes with, with Bud Crawford. Canelo Alvarez wasn't a fan of making the fight when he finished fighting Jamal Charlo, and he stated, I always say if a fight makes sense, why not? But he's not in the plan. According to Andre Berto, Crawford told him that he doesn't plan on moving up and fighting Canelo now, and he wants to focus on 154. Andre stated, I spoke to Terrence after the Spence fight and I told him, listen man, that Canelo needs to be your next fight. He can tell you that I said this. He was like, nah, Bert, I'm good, man. I want to deal with this situation at 154 pounds. I want to be undefeated. I'm good. I don't need to go up there. For what? Is there anything that scares you, Canelo Alvarez? What, what frightens you? <laughs> Nothing about boxing. No. This well, is what I love. Yeah. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.